Okay, hey there everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to construct a correlogram in eViews 11, how to interpret that correlogram, and, and by the way, it would apply for other software packages as well. Um, it, then I'm going to show you how to uh, plot statistic, and uh, then I'll also show you how to potentially use the AR2 or higher order uh, autoregressive functions to potentially correct for higher order uh, serial correlation problems. Okay, see you on the other side. Thanks everybody. Bye. Okay, so this is just some quick regression that I run, ran some time ago. Uh, I saved it as an equation. You see it's a double log form. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, first observe the durbin Watt statistic here, which we, we is uh, indicative of positive serial correlation. And to, to visualize that, we're going to run this correlogram, like I just saw, and you'll notice that we have a couple things uh, on the left-hand side, this sort of sign, decaying sign style relationship, and on the right-hand side here, um, it, this sort of you know big effect. And those first bars are the standard error, so we can see in this case it's uh, the first uh, the first time period lag is well beyond the uh, standard error. So we certainly have a first degree or, or <clears throat> autocorrelative problem. So what I'm going to do to correct for that is I'm going to enter in uh, AR1, uh, which is autoregressive first order uh, independent variable in there. You'll notice it significantly improved the durbin Watt statistic, but I'm going to run the correlogram again to visualize the uh, correlations. And I'll talk about the interpretation here in a little bit, little bit more in a minute. We can see that there's still some pretty significant um, um, issues uh, present, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, an AR2 uh, as well uh, in an attempt to clear that. Uh, we've done that. Okay, and you'll notice now the, the durbin Watt statistic is indicating that the uh, autocorrelation has been cleared. <clears throat> uh, running, the cor cor excuse me, running the correlogram again uh, uh, also uh, illustrates the fact that, um, illustrates that. Okay, that's it. See you back on the other side. Okay, Bye. so back on the other side of that. <clears throat> Uh, what I want to show you now quickly is a quick table uh, that will allow us to uh, under, more effectively diagnose uh, the what we're what we're seeing in those correlograms. Okay, so we'll see you on the other side one more time, and then we'll head straight out. Okay, so here I've constructed a little table to help you understand what you're seeing in the correl. correl <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, when we when we construct that correlogram, that we have sort of those two columns of, of bars, right? The left hand column is autocorrelation. This right hand column is partial autocorrelation. Uh, the definition is those here to the right: autocorrelation, the correlation of the value of the series k periods. Excuse me, the correlation of the value of the series k periods apart. Okay, and then partial autocorrelation is the correlation of the values of the series k periods apart after removing the correlation from the intervening legs. Okay, so when we look at those two columns, and depending on what we can see, this is indicative of different types of problems. So in the table on the left here, we see AR, which is autoregressive, MA, moving average, ARMA, uh, autoregressive moving act, average, uh, as the correction, the appropriate correction. So. Uh, if we observe exponential decay or a decaying sine waves type pattern in the autocorrelation column, and we observe a significant spike at the first leg in the partial autocorrelation co column, the corrective action is AR. Okay, and indeed that's what we observed a short while ago. So we employ AR. Okay. If we observe significant spike it, through the first first leg in the autocorrelative column and then exponential decay in the partial or autocorrelative pro, or autocorrelation column, the corrective action is moving average. And if we see exponential decay in both columns, the corrective action is uh, ARMA. Okay, and that's how we interpret this. So again, just to close out, uh, in the previous one, we saw uh, the decaying sign and a significant spike at the first leg in the autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation columns. And so we took corrective action by employing AR. All right. I hope you find this help, found this helpful, and we'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.